We're talking drones, we're talking canines, we're talking search and rescue. That is coming up next. Hey guys, David Plummer here from Aerial Influence. Coming at you from a higher angle today, trying to cover up the double and triple COVID chins. I don't think it's working, but I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all doing well during these crazy times. Wanted to talk about a serious topic today, and that is using drones along with canines during search and rescue operations. This all comes up because of our great client, Patrick Tanner, who is the chief of the fire department in West Chicago, Illinois. He invited us up to Spring Grove, Illinois for a little search and rescue demonstration. Now, Patrick is a huge drone enthusiast. He knows what he's doing. He bought an Autel Evo 2 from us. He also has a Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual that they're currently using for search and rescue. So he knows what he's doing. He's been in this for a couple of years and he's one of the most loyal guys that you'll know. So it was great that he invited us up because he's spearheading this operation, taking something that he loves in drone technology and what it can do, what its thermal capabilities can do uh, in terms of search and rescue, combining that with canines, with dogs. Did you know that a single trained dog team can do what 20 to 30 search and rescue personnel on foot can do in the same amount of time? So bottom line is if you or someone you love uh, is missing, you're gonna want a dog involved, but you're also gonna want a drone involved. So what Chief Tanner has done is he's teamed up with fire departments from Lincolnshire, Riverwoods, North Aurora, Waukegan, uh, Lamont, and the Butler Fire Department. They're canine teams, they're combining drones together. So the dogs are amazing. They'll take one sniff of a person and they'll be able to track that person for miles. Really, really impressive. Being able to use the thermal imaging to possibly find a person in that field. Being able to just lead the canine team out of harm's way. If they're in the middle of a field and they can't find their way out of a given situation, that overhead view can sometimes be the difference between that canine team getting out safe. Chief Tanner and his colleagues led a classroom session where they talked about what they're currently doing and what they're hoping to do in the future. They're doing this on their own with no backing. Mavis is not behind this at this point. Uh, Chief Tanner has really taken it upon himself because he's that passionate about combining these two things and getting the word out to help save lives. We did have one kind of funny and interesting moment while we were out there. Molson, who's the canine from the Butler Fire Department, was on a little search and rescue mission trying to find the missing subject when he got a little bit distracted. So she's doing what she's supposed to do. She's in there, she's checking out the building. She's all the way down there. She doesn't care that I'm there. I'm really there just to drive the car to get there. Ah, I think we found the search Ah, leave it! Molson, leave it. Poor Molson, you're still a good boy. We really want to thank Chief Tanner from the West Chicago Fire Department, one, for being just a, a great customer of ours, but two, for inviting us out. This was a really informative day. If you're interested in what Chief Tanner and his colleagues are doing, how they're trying to save lives, how they're trying to make a difference, shoot us an email, we'll put you in contact with him. We'd love to talk to you. We'll see you next time.